Uh, my name is Asim Chima. I'm a uh, cardiologist at St. Michael Hospital in Toronto, Canada. I just uh, presented at International Academy of Cardiology annual scientific meetings. The title of my talk was Assessment of Frailty and its Impact on Clinical Outcomes in Patients Undergoing Transcatheter Aortic Valve Replacement. The topic was uh, mainly about aortic stenosis, which is a growing healthcare problem, affects about 3 to 5 percent of patients who are above the age of 75 years. And this uh, problem is going to increase uh, in the future as our population ages. Uh, most of these patients were previously treated with surgical aortic valve replacement. However, transcatheter aortic uh, valve replacement has revol revolutionized the care of these patients and now is an accepted uh, standard of care for patients at moderate to high risk of uh, complications from surgical aortic valve replacement. Uh, however, uh, most of these patients are above 80 years of age, have multiple comorbidities and medical problems, and therefore remain still at high risk of complications in the post-procedure. Uh, in addition, many of these patients are frail and uh, require assistance, and it is we have noted that despite a successful procedure outcome, they still do not do very well uh, during the follow-up period. And the presence and assessment of frailty has come up as a very important uh, area that needs to be addressed in these patients. However, uh, there has not been a consensus with regards to how the frailty should be uh, assessed in these patients and what are the best ways to address this uh, problem. Uh, there has been some recent studies uh, which are looking at some frailty assessment tools. Uh, one of them is Essential uh, Frailty Assessment Tool, uh, EFT, uh, which is uh, shown to be a better predict predictor of one year uh, outcome in patients and it is it provides information which is superior and a better predictive value for predicting long-term outcomes. Uh, this is easy to do in the clinic setting and predominantly looks at the uh, physical activity, uh, muscle strength, uh, also cognitive uh, performance of these patients and also uh, looks at the serum albumin levels and hemoglobin levels to uh, demonstrate a physiological component of their well-being. And uh, patients who are uh, have high rates of frailty or frail status are at high risk of complications in the uh, post tower period and have uh, increased risk of rehospitalization as well as uh, high rates of death uh, up to 12 months. Uh, however, there are ongoing studies uh, which will be looking how to best treat these patients and how to reduce the prevalence of frailty in these patients and whether we can modify the outcomes.